Could I benefit from another syringe of Restylane? I am four days out from having my tear troughs filled with one syringe of Restylane. Though some of the hollowness is gone and my cheeks seem a bit fuller, I still see tear troughs. I also feel hollow looking under my eyes and towards the outer lower edge. Would another syringe work? I hate my under eye wrinkles, but as I understand it, filler won't help this. What about towards the hollow outer eye area? I almost feel like my under eye wrinkles are more pronounced after the filler. I see my doctor next week. Thank you for your question. You've asked a simple question, could you benefit from another syringe of Restylane? And you describe in your question that four days prior you had Restylane in the tear trough area and you still have ongoing concern about the relative hollowness in that area as well as in the um, in the outer area, and you're also concerned about wrinkles, and uh, and so it's it's clear that you still feel like there's room for improvement. I could certainly give you uh, my perspective and how I practice uh, in my in in my area. Um, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon. And we use Restylane and we use Juvederm, we use hyaluronic acids. We also do PRP or platelet rich plasma for rejuvenation of the under eye area pretty much every day of our practice. And I can tell you that how I approach the application of filler is when I place the material, I always allow about two weeks for it to settle. Uh, there's always room to add, and I feel like it's best to be conservative, and I suspect your doctor probably feels similarly. And so, although you may feel like there is still room for improvement, you want to still tread a fine line where you don't get more than you need. It's easier to add than it is to subtract. Uh, and one of the advantages of hyaluronic acid fillers is you can use a an enzyme called hyaluronidase to dissolve the filler, but it has been my general principle to uh, to wait for about two weeks and allow the filler to settle in and to blend. And when you are concerned about volume, very often there are ways to address this area, and sometimes it's directly and sometimes it's indirectly. Now, what I mean by that is when I look at the eyes, I look at the area that the patient is concerned with, but then we always take a step back and look at the whole picture. And we look at not only the eye and the tear trough area, but we look at the eyelid cheek junction, we look at the submalar area, the cheek area. And sometimes when a patient focuses on the tear trough area, they'll often find that if we fill the volume below that, it seems to create a balance and a harmony. So this is art, this is, in a way it's sculpting. And, and I think that there may be an opportunity there. Now, as far as fine lines and wrinkles are concerned, in our practice, we use um, technologies such as fractional CO2 laser, as well as platelet-rich plasma. Briefly, platelet-rich plasma is derived from your own blood, and it contains growth factors and healing properties that stimulate collagen. And it is something that we often combine when we use a hyaluronic acid filler to improve the quality of the integrity of the skin and restore volume with the hyaluronic acid filler. So I think that, that the fact that you have an appointment the following week with your doctor, I think that you should probably review um, your photos and get a sense of why, how, how you've improved and then decide if with your doctor whether or not additional volume is appropriate. I also explain to patients that although the word syringe seems like a lot, like how many syringes, one syringe, two syringe, but each syringe contains approximately one milliliter, which is basically like a baby teaspoon. So it's not a lot of volume. It can make a big difference by strategic placement, but in the end it's not a lot of volume. So when things settle out, you may need additional um, additional materials. So I think that you're on the right track with following up with your doctor 
and certainly explore what these other concerns are. I always t uh, explain to my patients that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And when we do under eye rejuvenation, combination of modalities can often result in a much nicer outcome such as the use of hyaluronic acid filler, PRP, and fractional CO2 laser, which is something we do um, a lot, so we can certainly speak from a lot of experience. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question. Mm -hmm.